and welcome. I am so glad that you're here. Hell yeah for showing up. You, my friend, are a badass. I know, I know, maybe right now is the furthest away you've ever felt from actually feeling like a badass. But you gotta trust me on this one. The fact that you are here, the fact that you showed up, the fact that you're interested in doing something to change all the things that you're going through right now and that you wanna learn more and that you wanna figure out, you know, what is next, makes you a badass, period. End of story. All right, so let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna start by introducing myself since we're gonna spend a lot of time together. My name is Pamela. I am a Latina mama to a boy. Well, he's not really a boy, he's a man. Um, at 18, I think you can say that. I, uh, I'm a sister, I am a daughter, I uh, work as a producer, I am a certified recovery coach, a certified life coach, and a She Recovers coach. And for all of that, I am very grateful. These are great certifications to have, and it has availed me uh, beautiful knowledge, of course, and a lot of understanding of what is truly behind uh, things that I have experienced. Because the real introduction, if we want to get hardcore, is the fact that I myself am an addict. The certifications are not what qualify me to be teaching this course and talking to you about this, all of this today. It's the fact that for decades, I lived inside of the very dark, very ugly, very musty, very yucky hole of addiction. I got disconnected from, from uh, everything, from all the relationships that were so precious to me. And um, the most tragic is that I got disconnected from the relationship to myself. being in that moment of, of hopelessness where all I wanted was to get better and all I wanted so desperately was to do things differently and I couldn't understand why I couldn't do things differently I couldn't fathom why in other areas of my life I was doing so fantastically and yet in this particular area of my life I was just unable to figure it out and then when I finally thought, okay, well, if I can't do this by myself, then, you know, someone has got to be able to help me something, like something's got to change. And I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what um, paths would get me to a different kind of life. I didn't understand what my problem was. So clearly I couldn't access anything that could help me fix that problem. Eventually, I ended up having to surrender this idea that I could control, you know, my drinking. And I had to make a decision. I had to get plugged into a program of recovery because if addiction was my problem, then recovery was my solution. And then I was able to access a life which I have to say is absolutely magnificent. So for that, I am incredibly grateful. And again, that is my, my um, card of presentation to you because, you know, a lot of people may be qualified to talk to you about addiction. There's a lot of doctors, a lot of medical professionals, there's counselors or psychologists, there's, you know, even people with religious backgrounds that truly have the best intentions at heart for us. But I truly believe that, you know, someone who has gone through the process of active addiction, of, of touching, I guess, that moment of hopelessness and helplessness, you know, and then surrendering into, you know, what the fuck do I do to get out of this? Which is a, a, a very unfiltered way of saying, I'm ready to do no matter what to get better. And so if you're no matter what is actually right now, I am delighted to have you. My objective with this course is to guide you through getting the vital information, 
but also the little nuggets of the stuff that you may be going through so that you can uh, get through the do's and the don'ts, you know, start to truly face the challenges that happen when you want to do something about the state of your life. You know, we're gonna learn, for starters, what is our problem? You know, we're gonna look at addiction, understand what it is, you know, what it is not, what it feels like, what it does to your body, what it does to your spirit, man. We're gonna really kind of go deep into the layers of addiction, talk about the cycle of addiction, why it is that we do what we do, and what our little voice inside sounds like. You know, again, it, it, to me, it is a privilege to teach you things that come also, you know, hand in hand with my experience and how I went through it um, and how I got out. Because the whole thing is, yes, we're gonna understand and define our problem, but most importantly, we are gonna talk about how it is that we got from that problem and understanding to whatever understanding is, is important at that point. Because sometimes we need to not understand technically, but just surrender to the fact that it is what it is and we just have to do something about it, whether we understand the nuances and where it comes from and what it is and what it's doing in our head because our brain is broken when we are in active addiction and that's part of the thing. You know, we're gonna talk about what addiction does to our body, to our soul, to our brain and what being inside of the addict's brain, maybe yours, I don't know, certainly was mine, what it feels like and what it does, okay? And then we're gonna talk, like I said, most importantly, about what it takes to be in the middle where you make a decision and then you're like, okay, I'm done. This shit cannot continue. You know, something's gotta change. And so at that point, you know, what happens? What do you do? And then what comes next? Because of course, once you have a problem, the idea is that you are able to access, what? A solution, you got it. And then we're gonna talk about recovery. And we're gonna talk about the different pathways to recovery, because there's not just one, right? There are many. And so because there are many, it's kind of cool, because you get a choice on which one you want to try out. And then eventually see which one works for you. So I will talk to you about the one that worked for me. And I'm gonna share, again, from the inside out, my experience. Why did I do what I did? What is it about this uh, particular program of recovery that worked for me? Um, and why do I still today believe that it was the right program for me and, and why I still work through it, right? Additionally, we're gonna talk about tools for recovery, you know, on an everyday basis. Of course, like with everything in life, once you have a big problem and then you find the solution, then in order to continue living in this solution, you have to have everyday maintenance you know, tools. It's a new toolkit, right? Because really, once we get started talking about it, we're gonna talk about a concept that just blew my mind. I did not have a problem with drinking. I had a problem with living without drinking. So again, alcohol wasn't my problem. Alcohol was my solution. And so, to quit drinking, just like that didn't actually help me except for a little while because I wasn't fixing the problem. Anyway, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. I get all excited when I talk about this because it changed my life. Because it, because I was dying. Yeah, I get very excited about it. I get very passionate because, because it changed my life because it gave me my life back. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this course, okay? Now, word of warning, this is the part where I, I gotta give you the full disclaimer. We're gonna do hard work together. Not all of the subjects that we're gonna talk about, not all of the information, not all of the questions, big questions, are going to feel good. They're not, you know, in fact, Part of my job is to ask those questions that nobody has asked you, the questions that make you really uncomfortable. Because at the core of it, if your problem is like mine, again, we are using and we are doing the things that we do to escape, you know, the crap, the experience of living, the, you know, the, the being sober, really. 
you know, or, or the being without whatever it is, fill in the blank that you are doing that is rendering your life unmanageable. And so these big questions, these uncomfortable little nuggets are going to come. And so I'm letting you know they're going to come. See a little bit of, of, of the privilege of sharing from experience. It's almost like I already went to the doctor. I already got the shot and I already know it hurts like a motherfucker. Yeah. And so I'm going to be able to tell you, Hey, by the way, when you go and get the shot, it's going to hurt like, a uh, Oh yeah, I'm, I'm unfiltered and I cuss. So please do not have children around you. If you're listening to this, you shouldn't anyway. And hopefully you're not a child yourself. And if you are, and if you're a teenager, then hell yeah, even more so that you are doing this now and not waiting until you're, you know, decades older. So, oof, wow. How I digress. Um, but yeah, so I, I am very unfiltered. Again, I share very honestly. I'm not trying to be rude. I hope I'm not offending you. If I am, I, I do thoroughly apologize. I am just, I'm, I'm very authentic and I bring my whole self and myself is full of cussing and passion. All right. And like I said, I am on fire about this. I am passionate. I am, um, just really excited to be able to teach us because it saved my ass. It saved my ass like nothing else out there. But addiction is so serious. Addiction um, is so real. It is. It has the power to kill, right? So I'm also not taking this with any levity. I am just delighted that I got a chance and the honor, and, and I'm so thankful and so grateful today that I was able to get into the other side, and I am very vigilant that that is something that I can lose at any point in time. And so in that, I find a lot of grace. I had five years of sobriety and I stopped doing the things that keep me in this place of recovery, of, of being recovered, of having, you know, daily access to a different connection and to a solution that allows me not to drink kind of one day at a time. And I, uh, and I drank again and I didn't drink for just one day or two or a week or a month. I relapsed for 700 ish days, which basically is a different way uh, to tell you that I was out unable to get back on track for two full years. And it felt so incredibly hurtful and painful. And um, it kind of busted through all of these theories that knowledge and, and knowing about the problem and knowing how to do things was sufficient because it wasn't right um coming back from that relapse has made me even more passionate about sharing you know the experience the strength the crap and the hope with others like you because um because this whole journey is never lineal this journey doesn't look the same for me as it does for you know for you or for you i don't know if you're a man i don't know if you're a woman i don't know what your age or your sex or your race or your sexual orientation or your background or I, and it doesn't fucking matter what matters is that this hits everyone it hits no matter who and it renders us in a place of complete and absolute disconnection Maybe you are here because you're a little curious. Maybe you're here because you're like, oh, you know, I may have a problem with drinking. Please know I'm doing drink. I'm saying drinking, but if your deal is pills or any other kind of, you know, addiction behavior that is recurrent, just plug it in. Okay. So let me just clear that out because I don't want to be, keep doing it <laughs> throughout the course. But anyway, if you are right here and you're like, hmm, maybe have a little problem maybe I'm not sure I kind of you know drink a little too much sometimes things are starting to feel a little weird like I'm wondering if and so that if that's where you're at oh that's wonderful I'm so glad that you're here we're gonna go ahead and ask a bunch of questions give you a lot of information give you a big picture and hopefully avoid that you keep you know going down the curve right now 
You may be, and again, I'm just gonna talk about three points, but you may be anywhere in the middle, right? But if you're in the middle point, the middle point is, I know I have a problem, you know, this has been a recurring theme in my life, and yes, my life has fallen already, you know, quite a bit lower than I needed it to, you know, fall <laughs> for my standards or somebody else's standards or whatever, right? Maybe, and, and I'm gonna be like super crazy here, but maybe, you know very well that you have a problem of addiction. In fact, maybe you already are in a process of recovery and sobriety. And maybe you've been there for a while and you're like, you know, I still want more. I wanna see how I can elevate that because that's another thing. The whole premise of this, you know, badass recovery thing is once you get recovered, what do you do with your life? And so if that's you, and you're in the middle whether you know for sure that you have a problem and this is something that's not you but you want more you want more connection you want more connection with you know with what this is with what with with you with your soul with how how to elevate how to help others perhaps because that's massive in order to stay in this place of recovery really you know and if that's you and you're in the middle fantastic you know and again all the little points in the middle but if you're here and you are deep in the unmanageability and the hopelessness of addiction. If your life has gone to hell, for lack of a better word, you know, whether that is um, easy to view from the outside because you've lost things that are, you know, physical or um, spiritual, maybe relationships, maybe you've already lost your family, maybe you're watching this from you know, a place where maybe you're in the hospital or maybe you're in a rehab or maybe you're at home isolated and you've lost jobs. I mean, it just, or maybe you haven't lost any of those things. Maybe you're very highly functioning in this addiction, you know, but inside the devastation, the hopelessness, the not trusting yourself, the not knowing who you are, this insanity that keeps happening in your life and you're unable to get out from that is the darkest and most fucked up place in the world and by the way you're my people because that's me that was me not once not twice but for decades okay and then even like i said even after i get did have some time of sobriety i went right back that is where i go that's what i'm dna and genetically wired to do and that's perfectly fine any of these places in the curve, you are exactly where you need to be. And if you actually are here, holy shit, I'm so glad that you are here. I really am so glad that you're showing up for yourself, that you have the courage to be here. That is just so magnificent. And I, I'm honored to have you. So, whew. <laughs> I do get excited and I get passionate and at some point you will see my eyes will tear up and I will break up a little bit because ugh, this thing is my thing because it's given me back my life because um, it just yeah hmm. <laughs> oh, let's get composed yeah so permission to be unfiltered permission to be vulnerable permission to be um, honest I have to absolutely and and I give you the same so again my word of warning if you're here buckle up bring up your big girl or big boy underwear pants panties I fuck it up all the time I just do that sorry um, because this is this is gonna be this is gonna be yeah but it's got it because the other option is for you not to do anything differently and stay exactly where you are. If your great idea served you so much, why are you here? All right, so we're gonna wrap this introduction up. I'm gonna see you soon. We're gonna go down all the things and do all the work. And for now, just stay with me when I tell you, you truly are a badass for being here. And I thank you and I honor you and I look so much forward. There we go, waterworks. And I look so much forward to spending time with you.